And hello, hello again. And my name is Helms Meshkman, and welcome to another tutorial of hostmaria.com. Again, this tutorial is for our cloud users. So, and our cloud hosting is offered to you and to all our users in partnership with 20i Data Center. So, let us begin. And today, today we'll be going through the backup process. Uh, both manual and automatic. So two ways how you can backup and export your WordPress website. Maybe you want to move it somewhere else. Why not? Let us show you two ways how you can do that. Okay. So first things first, please log into your stackcp.com dashboard. And make sure, just, just make sure that you have, so go to domains. Check the document root. Probably you will have more than one domain name. Make sure that you know the document root, where the, all the files are. Go back. OK. Go to File Manager. And double check. Public HTML. Yes, we can see this says this looks like a default WordPress installation. So. First things first, just before we get started, over and over, I see a mistake. Before the WordPress websites are exported, they are exported with plugins enabled. And the main problems are with plugins that cache the website. So there is one more thing we have to do. So in our case, we have un-s.com. And we be with the admin. All these videos are recorded in real time. So we can go to plugins and we have cache enabler. We would deactivate. This is my this is my personal suggestion to all of you. Deactivate. Deactivate your cache plugins. Okay. Now I can close it down. And of course, we can we can see the website is there. Good. So next things. So there are two ways. Way one, in main section, web files, there is backup and restore. So up here, you can create, this is automatic way how to do everything. So files, databases, choose both of them and click backup so you will have a notification are you sure you want to over your write your backup so we have i have one existing backup done yes and now the system now the system says that the new backup so the new command to create a backup has started at 2158 that is uk time yes it is a bit late tonight in the uk but this is the best time for me to create those these short video tutorials and it says databases and files they are being backed up so as we can see backup type so new backup is waiting in queue so they are in the queue please wait yes you can refresh but nothing will happen if you do refresh the page will refresh itself within around one minute so let us see <coughs> let us see so it started uh, 2158 now it is 5806 and let us see let us let us see now the minute is passed should we try and refresh okay so zipping up so the backup is uh, so the so the backup has been done. The system was zipping, so compressing all the files, and now they are preparing. Now they are preparing a, data, a database, WordPress database. Just wait, just wait. You can see that the system is working in real time. Just wait, wait, wait. So the first process for a plain WordPress website doesn't take more than a minute. If you have a larger website, then it will take longer. Just 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 give it some time and you can see yourself so oh, hopefully the the whole system showed the backup is the backup is complete up here the backup is complete and now what you have to do let me remove this banner 
So what you need to do is click here on download. Now the system is preparing to download your file. And what will happen now? You will download a compressed, compressed file. So we can see in the bottom here, it is compressing. So zip file, 25 megabytes only. If your website is established of course, and you have images, videos, all the good stuff, it will take longer time. So what we do here, and we uh, we would say show in folder. Now I will switch, I will switch the views and let me share the whole screen now. Would you like to see my whole screen? Here we go. <laughs> so here's the whole screen. Yes, you can see that uh, that we use Resolve, Resolve DaVinci Resolve, all some all the other good stuff. So here's our backup, 7-zip, extract files, extracting, and OK, let me now go deeper in this thing. Let me sh share another one. And I'll make the icons, I'll make larger icons. Here we go, extra large icons. Easier for you to see. So, downloads. So we can see, here was that compressed one. Here is what is downloaded. Now we can see that public HTML. This is where your files are. You can see everything, everything, everything. And databases, here's your database, backed up. OK, so this was step one. Now, now, now we are, now we'll do everything manually. Are you ready? Let me go back and share the screen. And hopefully these videos are helpful for you. <laughs> so let us go back home. So first things first, files. So once when you, when you export or import a website, There'll be two parts. There'll be a database and there'll be files. There'll be files. So you need to export both. In the first, in the first process, we did everything automatically. In the second one, we'll do everything manually. So we'll be exporting both all the files and database. Let us dig in. So just open your file manager, mark all. So we again we are in the in the right route. Right click and compress give it give it a name Arr, for example <laughs> something like that it doesn't matter and we can see that files are compressing and it will not take like a minute or two minutes this will this process is faster this process is faster so here we go and just download it So R2, these are, these are files. So you, now you have compressed all the files and have downloaded them. And the second thing, so we are going back home. Now we have to, oh, actually one thing. Once you are into your WordPress, you have to know which database you are using. In our case, we have only one database, so it will be easier for us. But for you, the database is in WP config. And up here, database name, WordPress, so C8B. And you have to export this, this database. So once again, we are going home. Now we are going to PHP, PHP my admin, C8B, this is our database. So PHP my admin is opening. Let me remove the banner again. We can see up here is R Z. So here we go. We are in the right. So click click up here. Make sure that you are in the right database. Sometimes you will have uh, in, for many users you will have that that have many websites you will have more databases here. You can just expand them or but the main thing just make sure that you are on the right database. Here will be the name as well. Export. And then just just stay to quick export out of all formats, SQL format, 
and click on go. And you can see the SQL file has exported. I'm opening I'm opening a tab or let me let me sh stop sharing the screen and let me share the whole the whole window. Okay. So this is so this is R showing folder and here we can see it. Here's R, are all the folders. These are all the files, sorry. And okay. Public HTML, all the files. And and this is the this is the WordPress database that we have that we have exported manually. And of course, in the automatic one, database backup is up here. So this was this was the easy way or two easy ways how to export your database or uh, both database files how to export your WordPress website and once we have created this tutorial the next one I'm going to record right now will be on how to import a WordPress database and this thing can be actually a bit tricky especially for all the users who haven't been using Stack CP dashboard before there'll be few things you need to you need to learn you need to understand and of course if you have any problems just go to hostmary.com and open a support ticket our support our, our support guys are more than happy happy to help you out we have level one support is on pre pre-sales on live chat then level two and level three support is working uh, they, they are working and me included are working mostly with support tickets so open your so open your support ticket we have we have level three guy really really smart with the about dnss and all the other good stuff but he's working only with clients who are who have dedicated managed um, managed servers and vpss and all that good stuff okay anyway thank you for watching and of course thank you for using hostmarie.com we are delighted absolutely happy to host your websites and of course our cloud is provided in partnership with 20i data center thank you and have a, have a good day or good night or good morning